If there's one thing that working moms know is that life isn't fair sometimes. Managing the job, the home can take an emotional toll and a new documentary aims to show how it impacts women, families and society at large. The film is called Fair Play and it follows women in their daily lives, including Emily Hay and her family who live in Metro Detroit. Take a look. When I became a mom, I felt like my identity completely changed. I really didn't understand the amount that she had to endure. Es una presión tremenda. Tremenda, yeah. It goes back to the twisted notion of, well, you just got to ask for their help. I don't want to ask. What time? Yeah, I have two phone calls from work already. Thank I became obsessed with a quest to figure out what was happening to us. This looks so intriguing. And joining us now is Emily Hay, founder of Hay There Social Media. And one of the moms uh, who is the focus of this new documentary. Emily, thank you for being with us. Thank you for having me, Tati. I'm completely drawn in by this. Oh, I'm glad to hear it. Yeah, so this is in <laughs> partnership with Hello Sunshine, Reese Witherspoon's media company. How did you get involved in the documentary? Gosh, it goes back a couple of years when I first met Eve Rodsky on social media, and she and I had connected some time before she and the writer and producer Jennifer Siebel Newsom had that very first Zoom with my husband and I to tell us about this project. Okay, interesting. So then in your own words, tell us about what Fair Play is all about. Fair Play is a project that shines a light on the invisible labor in the home mm. that is historically held by women. Fair play is really based on the notion that all time is created equal. So my husband's time isn't more valuable to society just because he's a man. It's not more valuable than mine. And I teach work systems to women every day, mm. but fair play gave me a life system mm. that allowed me to run my house without being the she fault parent. So it really gave me hope. Okay, okay the she fault as opposed to the default. Exactly. I like that. I like <laughs> that a lot. I did not coin that one, but absolutely all things fall on the she fault parent. Yes. All right. So then let's get into the nitty gritty. What was it like at home with having cameras in your personal life, in your personal space? What was that like? Well, it, it was smoother than you would think. Okay. I, I put it that way because, again, I heard about this incredible project from E. Rodsky and Jennifer Siebel Newsom, and my husband and I were really drawn to it out of curiosity mm -hmm. more than fear. So if we had to get vulnerable and personal with cameras in the home, all for the sake of being a part of the solution, that was far more compelling to me than intrusive. Wow. So it's very I admire cool. you for that, because this is going to be on Apple TV Plus, and millions of people, including me, are going to be watching. <laughs> so you were okay with that. That's amazing. Yeah, I was really inspired by the women that, that come to Hey There Social Media, my company, and they take action every day for a better way professionally. So I wanted a better way personally. Okay. And I do have to say, those local crews were incredible. They were like family. You, you awesome. stop apologizing for the mess. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they know, they know the deal. Yeah, come yeah. on in. Step over that. So what did you learn through this process? I really learned two primary things. One is that taking everything on myself is not something to be proud of. Mm. And everyone loses when you do that. So I was burning out, I was shortchanging my husband, and I wasn't modeling good behavior for my children. And really the second thing I learned was that change takes time. Mm. And as a, as a viewer of many documentaries, I expected there to be this dramatic transformation, almost like a before and after. But I had to release that expectation and realize that with real awareness comes change. So that, that was a bit humbling. Yeah, and that's a process and that takes time. Everything isn't like these perfect before and afters that you see like on social media, right? Not so much. Yeah. And especially, you know, being live and having this opportunity to have the, the camera crews there, I thought we are going to be accountable for massive change. Mm, it wow. isn't quite that simple. I love it though. I love everything that you're saying. So what do you hope that people take away as a message from this documentary? Eve Rodsky says, in order for women to step into their full power in the world, mm -hmm. men need to step into their full power in the home. Mm. So this is not a rallying cry that men are bad and women need to release some control. This is really a chance for men and women and society to recalibrate mm -hmm. and say, we have this awareness now and we have these systems. And if we share the responsibilities of work and home, everybody, including our children, wins.
I love everything about this, Emily. I am all in. I can't <laughs> wait to watch Fair Play. No, seriously, because as you're talking, I'm like, wow, that so many things are registering and clicking with me. So we thank you so much for being with us. You know, Fair Play is on Apple TV right now, everyone. And thank you again so much thank for you. sharing and opening up your life with all of us. Oh, for sure. all of us. You have you have to come to our screening. I would love that. We'll make sure it's on Eventbrite. Mom's Night Out. I would love that. That's amazing.